I truly believe that particular things happens to me in order for me to understand it much more. We may see people and wonder why they may say this, they may act like this or that, and it truly may seem like they are erratic. But if you place yourself in their shoes, I believe you may understand them much more. I am not saying that they are right for it, but if you see things from their perspective, chances are you may understand them or why they do or say why they <laughs> act like this or say particular things. Something happened to me and it really emotionally hurt me, which is, I guess, a common thing now. <laughs> And I received, I guess you can say, something like an email. And that person, in so many words, it sounded like that person is, or it looked like, that person is disagreeing with me. And so while I was hurt, I received something like an email and that person did not mean anything harm did not mean any harm, I believe. Pretty much lightly, I guess, in so many words, disagreeing with me, which is no big deal. But because I was hurt while reading that, I guess you can say email, I guess you can say the emotion that I felt was something like <clears throat> irritation. Like, why are you even contacting me? Like, in so many words, stay away from me this anger and this irritation. Now, that person did not do anything wrong toward me for me to feel that way toward that person at that second. But because I was feeling this hurt within me, when that person approached me and something I perceived as negative, my feelings wanted to lash out on that person, I believe. Please listen. So you may have encountered people like that, where they may get really, really angry with you for seemingly no reason, or they may talk to you or act toward you in this really, really strange way. But 
what you aren't seeing, I believe, you aren't seeing what happened to that person prior. What happened to that person in their past. From my understanding and from what I encountered as well, or what I went through, when, let me say this, let's say that you have a very large cut on your hand, like something really, really deep and very long. And let's say that cut hurts so badly, so badly. So let's say a person comes to you and that person, let's say that person is really, really nice. And let's say that person wants to shake that hurt hand. So that person comes to you and shake your hand. Now, this hand hurts so badly, right? So when that person touches your hurt hand, you are going to react in a painful manner, you may. Ow! What are you doing? Ouch! What is wrong with you? You are going to act in a way that person did not expect, you may. Why? Because your hand is hurt. Okay. What is coming to my mind when you deal with hurt people, and I don't know every case, but from my understanding, when you deal with hurt people, they may lash at you or act in this strange way towards you, as it seems, because they are hurt. They are tender still. Chances are. So, we can't really get angry at people like that, right? What if someone got shot and they are in so much pain and while you are trying to talk to that person, that person is screaming at you. Like, yes, oh, okay, yeah, you know. Now, would you get offended by that? Like, hey, that shot person is yelling at me. Let me stop talking to that person. Why would you get offended by that person when that person is hurt? That person has been shot. Okay, so if you wouldn't get offended by a person like that, that have been shot, okay, we should have the same compassion for people who are emotionally hurt because we have no idea what things are going on with those people. So we have to be patient, we have to be compassionate, we have to be more understanding of those people. Now, it took me to get hurt to understand that side much more. And it is not a good feeling. It is not. Because when I got hurt, how can I say this? Like, these random thoughts, I believe these random thoughts were coming to my mind, trying to get me to hate that person, trying to make me find faults in that person, trying to, I guess, make me prideful and say some things to boost myself up. 
And I am fighting against that <laughs> because I know that it is demonic. And I look at something and I see this, I guess you can say email. And now this person is disagreeing with me. So while I am dealing with this mental stuff, now I have a person disagreeing with me and I pray that this makes sense. Like so much stuff is coming at you, I guess you can say, then now this person here, that person there, that person there, I pray that this makes sense. This may be happening to you. So chances are, when you deal with hurt people, yes, what they say, what they may do may seem very strange. They may seem mentally unstable. They may seem, I guess you can say crazy. But we can't say that. We have to be more understanding of hurt people. Yes, what they say or may do may be wrong, but we can't. Listen, if pressure is upon a person and you can see that they may be hurt, why would you place more pressure on them? As you can see, they probably can't handle the pressure that is upon them right now. So why would you place more pressure upon them when it is not going to turn out well? You have to use wisdom. So if anything, we have to show them patience. We have to show them unconditional love. Because, as you can see, pressure is making things worse. Right? Man, I pray that this makes sense. Let me stop here. So, when you encounter a person where they act really, really strange, or they are really, really rude, or they are so quick to lash out on you, chances are that person is hurt. And with hurt people, in order for them to change or to get better, yes, we need to pray for them. Also, we have to be compassionate, patient, understanding, and continue to love them no matter how they act. Because acting in any other way is not going to help, I believe. Man, I pray that this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless Make you. Make sure you tell someone that you love them. God bless you.